Hello, I'm Joanne Myers, Director of Public Affairs Programs. As many of you know, the Carnegie Council has been a forum for the discussion of ethical issues in international decision making. But to continue to bring these wonderful programs to you, we need your help. Please visit carnegiecouncil.org, click on donate slash join. Thank you for doing so. Freedom actually has a formal structure we haven't talked about in a long time, really in our lifetime. But the formal structure is this, law sets boundaries. It tells you what you can't do or you must do. You have to pay your taxes, you can't steal. But those same boundaries are supposed to affirmatively define and protect an open field of freedom. What uh, the philosopher Isaiah Blinn called um, uh, frontiers not artificially drawn within which men shall be inviolable. And on that open field of freedom, people can do whatever they want. They can be jerks. They can have bad values. And Lord Moulton is right that we can't have law tell people what their values are. That's the antithesis of a free society. But this open field doesn't work unless law lets us judge other people by their values. They can be jerks, but we're free. They're free to be jerks, but we're free to judge them. And what modern law has done is taken away our freedom to make those value judgments. And it's also taken away the, the freedom of the people maintaining these boundaries. They can no longer actually assert norms of reasonable behavior, whether it's judges or principals or anyone else. That has to be restored. Public authority needs to be restored so that people with responsibility have the authority to do their jobs. You know, democracies, um, you know, it, it, it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to purge our values. Democracy is about asserting values. We want to elect people and appoint people who are constantly asserting their values. And if we don't like them, we like someone else. Instead, we've disempowered up and down the line, everyone. In the private sector, the same thing. We've got to restore the freedom to judge other people. We do have to protect against discrimination, but discrimination is generally a systemic problem. It's not an individual person problem. So you can safeguard against patterns and practices of discrimination without taking away the ability of employers to write reference letters and to judge people by, by, by what they do all day. And then there's the political system. And there is a problem of powerlessness here, which I'm doing a lot with. We're just starting a, a new campaign called Start Over, startover.org, designed to sort of a basic overhaul of our regulatory system. Because what happens today is Andrew Cuomo goes to Albany to be governor. He finds that 75% of the budget is cast in legal concrete with deals and statutes made by people who are long dead. And he can't change one word of that or shave 5% off to balance the budget without getting a majority of the legislature to act. So there's this extraordinary powerlessness that's come from the accretion of law. And it's not that law is doing the wrong goals. It's just you need to do a spring cleaning every once in a while so you're meeting, so you're meeting today's goals.